Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see as part of direct and inverse variations, we will see one example where we have four variables and we have to find out value of one particular variable. So, let us look at this problem. 10 men working for 5 hours a day for 6 days mow an area of 5 acres. If there are 8 men working 4 hours a day to mow 4 acres of land, how many days will it take? So, we see that there are 4 variables. So, let us write down what are those variables one by one. The first variable what I see is 10 men that means number of men. So, I will write down men. After that working for 5 hours, how many hours per day? Then we have 6 days that means number of days and at the end we have area, area equal to 5 acres. So, let us write down the values. Ten men working for five hours a day. So I'll write down ten here. Five hours a day for six days can mow an area of five acres. If there are eight men working four hours a day to mow an area of four acre land, how many days it will take? So, what we will do now is so, the idea is very simple. We will try to take that variable for which we want to find out the value and keep it on the left hand side. Then we will see by keeping two variables constant how the remaining variables are changing. Is it directly variating or inversely? So, for that what we will do? First we will write down 6 by x is equal to now, we will keep men and hours and we will look into a relation between days and area. If number of men who are doing the work and the number of hours they are doing per day is constant, then if more days, then you will do more, you will mow the more area. So, if it is more days, more area, less days, less area. That means, the area is in direct proportion with respect to days. So, I can go ahead and write down that ratio as it is 5 by 4. Then we will go to hours now. Now, we will keep men and the area how much we have to do both as constant. We have hours and days. Suppose I have to do 4 acres. I have 6 days. Then let us say I can do with 5 hours a day. If it is 10 days I have I can do with less number of hours because the area is always fixed. That means, days and hours are inversely proportional. So, we will write down inversely proportional. This is direct proportion, this is inverse proportion. Whenever it is inverse proportion, we have to take the reciprocal. So, it will become now 5 by 4 will become 4 by 5. Now, let us go to now, let us go to days and men keeping hours and area constant now, the third scenario. Now, if area is fixed, area how much we have to do is fixed and the hours are fixed per day, how many days and men, how many men, how they are related to each other. If I have more men, I can finish it in less days. If I have less men, I need more days. That means, again that is also inversely proportional. So, I can go back and write down 8 by 10. We are writing 8 by 10 because it is inversely proportional. If it is directly proportional, we will directly write down 10 by 8. Now, we have to simplify this. So, let us simplify this. We can cancel 5, 5, 4, 4. Then I can simplify 8 by 10. I can write 2 4s are and 2 5s are. That means, 6 by x is equal to 4 by 5. Undoing cross multiplication, we get 
फोर एक्स इक्वल टू थर्टीन और एक्स इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन बाई टू और सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डेज सो दैट्स अ सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज वन इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग विथ यू एज इट इन्वॉल्व मोर नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स सो प्लीज डू लेट मी नो योर फीडबैक थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम एंड सपोर्ट बाय फॉर नाउ